getting requests. Have I not read on Sarah Sanders? Ugh. Well, if I haven't, I can do that now. I can remedy that easily enough, but also there's good reason. Basically, I don't want to, but all right, let's have a look at Sarah Sanders. The thing is, she isn't stupid. You can't say, well, she was raised in a, in a right-wing family and so she was brainwashed. No, she thinks it's okay to lie. She just does. She just, she has no compunction against it. She has no trouble lying. It's just, she thinks that's what you do. That's your job. That's, I mean, if, and if you tried to say, no, you can't lie, she should be like, oh, you're naive. Sarah Sanders, she's not stupid. I mean, you know, I'm not saying she's a Rhodes Scholar, but she's, you know, I guarantee you Rachel Maddow could, could talk circles around her, guaranteed, any day of the week. It feels like, at least at some point, she felt pride of, about, or maybe still feels pride about working in the White House. And that lying is just part of politics. I don't think she's a part of a huge conspiracy. At least she, I don't think she sees herself as being part of a huge conspiracy. I think she gets annoyed with, with Trump because he makes her job difficult. But at the same time, she's very kind of workhorse pragmatic about it. Just plow the fields, just, you know, that's what you do. You, there's the workhorse, you pull the, the dairy cart, you plow the fields, you just do your thing. And no, that's not a dig at her looks or anything like that. No, it's just, that's just her personality is what I'm picking up on. In case you haven't noticed, most of the time, I don't care what people look like. It's only when they start attacking other people. Like, it's only when like someone like Trump starts attacking other people for their looks. Yeah, you're just, you're fair game at that point. Yeah, she's, um, this is generally a fire sign, the Queen of Wands, but it just, it feels, she picks up, it doesn't feel like a giant thing, it's just part of her job. She picks up her stick and she goes out there and fight with the, the media to get the message across and she's a little bit frazzled, but just kind of a blank stare. It's just the job, it's like laying pipe. It's just what it is. I don't know uh, a lot about her background. I get the feeling that, that she was having some money troubles before, but I could be I could be completely wrong on that, but that's what it feels like. There were some money issues. And this is what she's known for. This is this is a center of it. You go and you have, you beat them, you beat back the hordes of Reporters, it's the job, it's the job. A lot of times you're just ducking and dodging their questions. I mean, I even, I even find my, my way of speaking is almost kind of becoming a bit more plodding. Just, you do the job, you go, you do the job, you go home. You do the job, you deal with the questions, you, you, you beat back, you, you go home. Day in, day out. home environment. It's not doing wonders for her family life. I get the feeling that she's getting some serious pushback from friends, neighbors. Certainly all the scrut the negative scrutiny is not, not helping her marriage, let's put it that way. It's, it's like she's walking around with the stink of death on her. She's got the, she's walking around with the stink of Trump, which is, yeah, same thing. Hoping that she'll do well and this will be over soon. I won't be here forever anyway. Nobody is. It'll be over soon. It'll be over soon. Other people see her trying to temper the, uh, excuse my language, jackassery of Trump. That's her job. Take the gunk and try to refine it. A final outcome. Oh, she likes, she, she feels important. But when she goes to look for jobs somewhere else, it's Trump. It's the stink of Trump. It's the stink of Trump. She's not, yeah, she's not going to be able to go anywhere or do anything without, she is, she is tied to him forever. Forever. So Sarah Sanders, what's going to happen to you? What I got was very strange. What I got was she's going to be, she's going to feel inconvenienced. 
which means I, I'm going to guess that means that she's going to be called in to testify for various things. I, I, I just I hear in my head, oh. <sighs> Is this costing me money to do all this and and not get a job and I'm being called in again over here and you know I've got I need to look for work see I've got my trusty stick and I'm, I need to I need to look for work and have a life and have my career and and have glasses of wine with my friends and and you know get on with my life I don't I don't have time for all of this all of these Trump investigations that was a million years ago. It was, that was my job. I'm very plodding, very just plodding. Let's see what I, got here. I don't know everything about Trump. I wasn't everywhere. You think I knew him as a child? I mean, I don't know all that stuff. No, we did not have a relationship. No, we did not. Well, those journalists deserved it. They deserved to be insulted. They deserved it. That was my job. Yeah, it's like it's it's like talking to a, a log, just a log of wood. Oh, more cases, more. I've got work. I need to get work. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. It just feels like it's endless. It just feels like endless, endless. You're on a crusade. It's not. She's like she's not gonna learn. She's not going to keep her mouth shut. She's not going to... Kellyanne Conway is going to be smart enough to keep her mouth shut after a certain point. But it doesn't feel like Sarah Sanders is. Then again, I get the feeling Kellyanne Conway is smarter than Sarah Sanders. And this whole... This whole thing with Trump, they're going to... This feels like they're going to metaphorically... The investigations are going to metaphorically not only kill him, but bury him. Every last thing he ever did. This is the sort of truth cutting the Gordian knot. So at some point, the whole Trump disaster, it will break. It will, it will finally break and, and fall, start to fall away. And she'll be like, okay, I, you know, my husband's been working and, or, you know, I've been able to get, I've got some money, I'm fine. And, you know, I'm going to go out and I'm going to, I'm going to work. But no matter what she does, no matter where she goes in the world, she's, absolutely tied to Trump forever. All these Democrats, they want to empower women, but they don't want me to be empowered. And all they ever talk about is the man I worked for. I'm a strong woman. I did what I was told. I did what I was told. That was my job. That was my job. I'm not getting nothing. Nothing here is saying that she's going to have a lot of criminal culpability. This almost feels like life just going on without her and, and she feels left behind. It's like a, a weight tied to her ankle. She just can't get out from under it. Maybe, maybe she will write a book just because, just to make some money and she can't get out from under it anyway. It's almost like she's erased. Not a race from history, but a race is just thrown away, thrown out with all the Trump stuff. This is Mueller. So, yeah, I'm just getting more of the same. More investigations, more beyond even past Mueller, because it, that's what it feels like. This is even past Mueller, once the Mueller investigation is done, dusted, all the court cases have been gone through, everything's over. It, it just doesn't feel like she, she ever escapes. She never escapes the stink of it when she's old. It feels like when she's old, it's just going to always be there. And the, since the Trump, this whole Trump thing is just going to be vilified for good reason. Yeah, she's going to be a part of that. And she'll never get out of it. She'll never get away from it. She'll never get past it. She'll never... Some people will, will take pity on her and maybe, you know, 
ask her to speak on TV or in a documentary or, but yeah, her, her reputation for the rest of her life is toast and she's going to be linked to all the bad emotions that were caused. All right. So that's what I'm getting for Sarah Sanders. Yeah. She'll never escape. Never. All right. Well, thank you for watching.